Well, good morning. It's time for the morning update. But uh, first, let's uh, have some coffee, shall we? All right, so um, I haven't really been up to a lot of costuming lately. I've been, I don't wanna say slacking, but <laughs> but just been busy with other stuff. Um, I did uh, have Monday off, uh, President's Day, which is kind of interesting. I, I'm not used to working at a company that gets January and February holidays, but it's nice, I have to say. So, um, so I did spend that day um, making Natalie's uh, Powerpuff Girl dress, uh, latex dress, and I just uh, tried that on. She and I are close enough to the same size for latex stretch. And so um, I was gonna make a new pattern and then like looking at her measurements and looking at my, what I made and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> and uh, so, um, so yeah, so I did try it on and it fits me, uh, should fit her. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, two down, one to go. Gotta make a pink dress for Abby next and uh, her measurements are a bit different. She's got that booty um, and slightly bigger hips. And then she also has, a. We call it our, our nipple height is different. So um, even when we're shoulder to shoulder, uh, where our nipples are is a, is a different height. Um, and so what happens then is if I make a dress for me and she tries it on, then um, it it uh, the neckline is much higher. And so um, where I would like actually have some cleavage showing, she wouldn't. And so, um, so to, to fix that, you actually make the shoulder straps longer and uh, so yeah, so I gotta make shoulder straps longer and the hips slightly uh, bigger and then that'll be her dress. So I don't know when I'm gonna work on that. Maybe Saturday, um, you know, maybe starting to do during the week kind of stuff. Um, and of course I do wanna start on Gwen Ballerina, but I've been kinda, man, the hardest part sometimes is just starting a new project. And lately it's been just, um, you know, watching TV or screwing around the computer. I've been working on um, Cheer Seattle website stuff as well. Um, so yeah, it's uh, at some point I just gotta jump into that. That's gonna be, I don't even know which con that's gonna be for. It just depends on how fast it is making it. So, um, but I did get the idea yesterday um, that I could probably make the cartoon Supergirl from um, Superman the Animated Series, I think it is, um, where she has like a white top and then a blue pencil skirt. And uh, I was like, you know, I, I've i made this crop top pattern now, which I made my back bikini out of. I could easily add sleeves to that and then bam, that's that's the white top there. So, um, and then making a pencil skirt is fairly trivial. So, so yeah, um, kind of new revelation I had yesterday that Maybe by the end of the year, I'll, it'll be a quick, easy project to make that version of Supergirl. The other thing is she has bangs in that, and uh, I'm making the new uh, CW Supergirl catsuit, uh, hopefully for July for San Diego. Um, and so I'll have that wig as well. And so I'll have a bang wig uh, that I'll already be ready to use for this Supergirl too. So. So that's kind of costuming stuff going on. Emerald City is creeping up. And uh, I think this is all I have left to do um, is just finish Abby's Powerpuff Girl dress and screw around with my Bubbles wig and stuff and make sure that's gonna work out. So um, yeah, so other than that, uh, ballet class has been going well. I'm not able to go this week, unfortunately, because of, um, like Monday was a holiday, so I didn't go. And then Friday, tomorrow, I'm going snowboarding. It's another lift ski day that I planned. And uh, so yeah, I'm um, not gonna go to ballet this week, but next week I'll probably go Monday. And uh, and then cheer's been going well. We're getting our, our routine going and uh, Ray getting ready for Pride. Um, They're gonna be doing the St. Patrick's Day Parade, which is during Emerald City Comic Con, so I, I can't go to that. Uh, as well as Long Beach Pride, which is during my 14-day cruise I'm doing with Abby Eki. Um, so, so I'm just kind of hanging out a little bit. I've got a part in it so far. I'm hoping to get more parts, um, but I won't know for sure until after Long Beach because, uh, so I'll be a part of all the Pride, uh, Seattle Pride stuff, which will be in June. Um, we're going to be at the Solstice Pray and a bunch of other events as well. So yeah, getting excited about that stuff and, uh, um, I don't remember if I mentioned my last video or if I even have them up yet, but I have new prints in my store. 
that are sheer Seattle prints and uh, kind of exciting um, because uh, they are fundraiser prints. So if you buy one, then I will donate that the proceeds to that to Cheer Seattle. And so um, for those of you who are thinking like, what the heck is Cheer Seattle? Um, we're an organization of adult volunteers that, you know, may or may not have cheer, past cheer experience. Like me, I didn't have any past, past cheer experience, um, but I was curious about it. And uh, we uh, basically are cheer for hire. We're hired for running events, um, pride events. We go and support um, uh, different volunteer organizations. And uh, basically we're raising funds for um, organizations in the LGBT community and beyond and uh, just trying to support um, that community, you know, that's so, um, what's the word, I'm, I'm lacking words today, but uh, marginalized basically. Um, so yeah, it's kind of exciting to be like doing this fun thing, cheer, and learning all this stunting and performing and doing all this stuff. And then at the same time, like doing it for a great cause. It reminds me a lot of when I first joined CC for Causes um, when uh, I first got into cosplay, because he was like, you know, you're all excited about cosplay, and then you're like, wait, I can be excited about cosplay and costume and raise funds for like a children's charity kind of thing. And so, similar kind of thing. Um, it's it's a huge commitment doing the the cheer stuff. It's like I, I try not to miss practices. Um, in fact, I have there's a work trip coming up, and I would have missed a practice, and I was like, sorry, I can't go. <laughs> but it's also. Um, also happened to be Emerald City Comic Con a week, which I already have Thursday and Friday off for that. So I was like, doesn't make sense for me to go down, miss cheer practice, and then come back early just to, yeah, it was just kind of like, I'm, I'm just not gonna do it. It's just not a good week for that for me. So luckily work doesn't require it. So, but, but yeah, so uh, yeah, check out my cheer prints in the store. I'm excited about, uh, one, I'm excited about uniforms. I don't know if you all know, but I'm kind of obsessed with clothes and costumes. And so um, have, being a part of this cheer thing, doing the fun cheer stuff, wearing the fun cheer stuff is all part of it for me. And it's really exciting and really fun. So anyways, that was a huge mouthful. But um, this weekend we have a power outage planned on Sunday from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's kind of crazy. And so Ryan and I are like, what the heck are we going to do? And unfortunately, like I'm going snowboarding tomorrow. Otherwise, snowboarding might have been a good idea. <laughs> But um, I don't want to go like twice in the same weekend, especially with how my knee and back are doing. So, um, which they are doing better, but, um, you know, I don't want to chance fate. So, um, so I think we're going to go do brunch and um, probably go see Swan Lake um, from the Russian ballet being streamed in the movie theaters. Um, so that's, that's a possibility. And then we still got like, I mean, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. with no power. It's crazy. <laughs> so, um. Yeah, we'll see what happens with that. It'll be interesting. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I uh, got another print order recently and somebody ordered some Tinkerbell prints. So um, yeah, check those out too. And there's still a bunch of sale prints in the print store too. And reminder, like I don't make a lot of money off these things. They're really priced very low. Um, it's more about you all, the fans. And um, yeah, I just get excited that y'all want to even see pictures of me or, or, have, or have prints of me. and you know, signing my autograph and all that stuff. So anyways, uh, one last thing was the show me your yummy gummy. Show me your YG. If you saw my post on Instagram about that, um, yummy gummy latex is doing a contest um, to like, you get some kind of crazy percentage off of her, of a next latex order. And she, you know, I order a lot of latex from her. It's all the glitter latex and that stuff. And so we'll see what happens with that, but it'd be really cool to win. I posted a bunch of the things that I made of her stuff to try to enter the contest. So we'll see. Anyways, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.